Our adventure that will take us to extreme high altitudes of up to 6,250 meters over the next two weeks starts at sea level as we leave Bombay in the wee hours of the morning. You don't have to wait too long to be awestruck by the view that's on offer. The Himalayas. Endless, uninhabitable ranges or as far and wide as the horizon itself. Just this view itself is reason enough to be on this flight. As we begin to see the green patches signifying civilization which till today thrives because of the Indus River, Leh, the biggest town in the Ladakh region, will be our destination for today. After coping with the change of altitude for the first 24 hours, we woke up to a lovely day at our hotel, Royal Ladakh. I'll try and log the altitude and location details on my Garmin as we go along, in case you want to plot the route later. But today was a day for gear trials, for the climb, snow gear that we'd rather rent than purchase. Hi, I'm Vipin. And this is my wife, Shahana. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here in Leh now. Uh, we're planning to climb the Kang Yatse 2 and the Zojongo. I think it's really far from St. Lucida, there's a Sufi Stupa. This is the very really nice, it's a relatively new hotel, Hotel Royal Ladakh, that's where we are staying. That's, a... that's the Leh Palace up there, it's too far I think for the camera. Those are all the peaks, you can see the stoke there as well, which we did earlier. The town of Leh is buzzing with travellers, as it's still the last week of August and tourist season is at its peak, owing to the beautiful weather one gets this time of the year. There's plenty of eclectic shops with something for everybody. And it's not just the tourists who are out on a shopping spree who said spirituality can rid you of the dopamine burst achieved by retail therapy. The cafe has become a melting pot of people from all around the world and every traveler feels just right at home. There are of course the quieter lanes and parts of Leh town away from the marketplace where you can take a peaceful walk and watch the golden light set behind the poplar trees. As the sun set on our second day at Leh, the morning after it was time to start what we were here for. We are ready to move for the trek today. Today is going to be the first day. We are going to drive up to a place called Chilling which is along the Zanskar Valley and from there we trek up to a uh, place called Skew. So this is what we look like on the first day. Let's see how it looks once we've completed the trek. There are few places that I've seen which match the grandeur and the loneliness of Ladakh. We follow the Zanskar River for 20 odd kilometers to reach our starting point, Chilling. We have here the old method crossing the river and then the new one. Before this bridge, this trolley was the only way to cross the river. Pulling the rounded stones from what were the banks of the Zanskar tell a story of the past. And perhaps the Zanskar's flow had more volume but has receded since. Making me think if the river shall rise again to reclaim what was once hers. We've infiltrated nature well beyond the limits, and I guess only time will tell. Okay, so we are at 3,220 odd meters. From the Zanskar Valley starts a walk, which will see us on foot for the next two weeks. Our legs are fresh today, and the walking comes easy. Ladakh wastes no time to spoil you with the beauty of its landscape and neither does it make you wait to get to heights. Can you believe it? There's a road clear. A pretty decent one as well. That's the Marka Valley. Our walk gets prettier by the hour. 
passing through gates remind us that the Marka Valley is reasonably well habited, considering that the road doesn't reach here. Stopping by local village homes, which convert their gardens into cafes for lunch. The one thing that's always welcome is a hot cup of chai. I <laughs> keep trying to retire you that blood the summit and you come back. <laughs> the jokes start to flow as we get to know each other better. The effects of climate change affect the extreme parts of the planet in the most apparent way. Yep. Yep. All the salt that you see. And the high altitude desert region of Ladakh is no different with the spate of floods in the last decade in what is usually a rain shadow region. See the level, how much of silt the river or the water brought in. Earlier this year came water and silt from unusual amounts of rain. This is pretty much where this road comes to. I'm definitely going to get my Africa to India. <laughs> and from here on, we move on to the foot trail. So the first day is basically just for getting a little acclimatized to the walk. The village of Skew is a pretty sight, as was our campsite. This here is going to be our campsite for today in the village of Skew. It's a nice short walk, no? From there to here. At 3,385 meters, we were now just a few hundred meters lower than Leh, where we'd started from. Our riverside camp was beautiful. We soaked in the sun till we could. And then later that night, we even got a full moon. <laughs> 